Recently, a buddy of mine asked about my advice for pairing up some new combos for the coming season. He had some reels in mind and he wondered what I thought I would choose for rods to put those reels on. I understand where he's coming from with the reel, you know, being the, the most, maybe the more attractive part of the two pieces, right? Reels are shiny. They look very complicated. You know, they're, they're finely tuned, these precision machines. So it's easy to draw that conclusion that the best thing for your fishing is to have, you know, the ultimate reel. It's what you're reeling in the fish with. But I think the reality of it is that the rod is actually the more important piece when you're thinking about the quality of that experience you're gonna have while you're out on the water. And I'm definitely not against high-end reels. I own a bunch of high-end reels and I love them. But after a certain point, reels offer kind of a diminishing return on that investment. Yes, they're smoother and yes, they'll cast a little bit farther, but ultimately like how much farther, what percent farther, you know, and how much smoother is it? And how much smoother does it need to be to actually factor into the efficiency of your catching fish? While the rod is maybe a little less glamorous, you know, there's no moving parts on it. It's, it's a, a really fancy stick, basically. You can picture how you could make your own if you had to, right? But the fact is when you're fishing, the rod actually has a lot more to do with how good that combo feels and performs and how well you're going to be able to catch fish efficiently. So as you spend more on a rod, you start to see returns on that investment more quickly in sensitivity, in uh, lightness, in the efficiency, how they actually help you catch a fish. This rod actually is working for you. You hold on to it and the rod basically is designed to do all the work for you. So if you're getting a higher end rod, it's going to work harder for you right away. And you'll notice the difference in a day of fishing, the lightness, the sensitivity of it, but also in once you're hooked up, how well that rod performs to bring that fish all the way to you instead of fish coming off mysteriously. A lot of times that can be the rod. You see that when manufacturers combo up gear, they do tend to split it kind of 50-50 in the, in the value of the rod and the reel. It's pretty evenly matched as far as that goes. But my point is that you're gonna get more out of the rod than you do out of the reel ultimately. So I would put more of the budget towards the rod category. So in this case, we're talking about a $400 combo from Shimano. You'd go with a Corrado spinning rod probably, uh, puts you at 180 to 200, I believe. Maybe you'd upgrade at that point to a, maybe a Zodius is right around 200 to up to maybe 220, depending on exactly which model you end up with. And then you pair that up with a, a Stratic probably is a $200 spinning reel. And that's fantastic. That's gonna be a beautiful combo that will not let you down. But I think to improve the experience and step up a level, I would, push more of that money towards the rod. So that leads me to this combo that's in my hand right here. This is an X pride rod. This is a step up. This is a $280 spinning rod. And I can tell you firsthand that X pride rods are used by a lot of top level tournament pros. This outside of the crazy high end stuff, this is a very high end rod. It's an incredibly sensitive rod. It's very light. Uh, it's amazingly well built and it just is going to do the work for you, which is exactly what you want a rod to do. So in order to balance that out to meet your $400 budget, I've got a Shimano Miravel spinning reel on this, which is only a 120 something dollar reel. The Miravel is an absolutely capable reel. This has so many features in it that just a few years ago, Shimano only had in their highest level spinning reels. This reel is going to do absolutely everything you need on the water. The drag is going to be smooth. It's well built. It has their Hagane gears in it, which are super strong. And at that price point, that allows me to step this rod up. And when I'm on the water fishing, that's what's actually going to feel like a better quality combo. It's lighter, more sensitive, all those great things. By thinking of it this way, you've built yourself a combo that is going to punch way above its weight class you are gonna get the most for your money. And who doesn't want that?